Though we pride ourselves on being the land of the free, one must look back only seven decades to see an America still split by Jim Crow laws. While the laws have changed, have criminalized discrimination, racism is still present to this day. As we are divided by the cases of Michael Brown in Ferguson, Walter Scott in North Charleston, Eric Garner on Staten Island, Freddie Gray in Baltimore, and Tamir Rice in Cleveland, among so many other black men and boys subjected to the same fate, we have no choice but to call up the images of the past and reflect upon our history. It is not a pretty history, but it is history and it is ours to claim. It is only in claiming our history that we can hope to progress in the future. In Hillary Jordan's prize-winning debut, Prejudice Takes Many Forms. It is 1946, right after the end of World War II, and Laura McAllen is forced to raise her children, Amanda Lee and Isabel, in a shack on her husband Henry's farm in the Mississippi Delta. In addition, Henry's cruel, racist father, known as Pappy, moves in with them, bringing with him a barrage of insults and cruelty to both Laura and her girls. Their black sharecroppers, Florence and Hap, struggle to make a living off of the desolate land. At the same time, two soldiers return from World War II to Mississippi. Jamie McAllen, Henry's dashing younger brother, is everything that the homely Laura could ever desire in a man. He's handsome, interesting, charismatic, but relentlessly haunted by his memories of combat. Roncel Jackson, eldest son of Florence and Hap, has returned a hero of World War II, having served in the 3rd Tank Battalion under General Patton. But no matter his courage and admirable actions in Europe, he is still considered less than a man in his own country, a place still divided by discriminatory Jim Crow laws and swarming with racism. Despite the differences between them, Roncel and Jamie bond over their shared trauma. In the context of the bigoted South, however, their friendship may prove to be a bigger threat than the gunfire they once faced. The Summer Reading Committee is proud to announce the all-school book of 2015, Hillary Jordan's Mudbound.